Where do you think is the riskiest place to park your car? <sighs> Downtown. Nope. It's the place many of us stash our cars for days at a time near the airport. It's called Park and Fly, a service offered by many hotels, including the Greenwood Inn. All the uh, shopping areas and hotels in the St. James area are suffering from the same problem. The problem? High rates of car theft in the St. James industrial area, just east of the airport. 56 confirmed thefts in eight months last year, and even more break-ins. Almost twice as bad as any other of the top areas. A surprise, quite honestly. Staff have watched thieves pull up at night in cars that turn out to be stolen. They drive up, they jump out of a vehicle, they generally keep their back to the camera, and within a minute they're in the vehicle and gone. Gone in 60 seconds, too fast for police to be dispatched, too dangerous for front desk staff to handle, and frustrating for all the airport hotels. They use surveillance cameras, bright lights, and security guards. That's as much due diligence as we can practice. The Greenwood even gets park and fly customers to sign a form saying they know the risk. They try to punch the lock and it actually bent uh, the door in. This man signed one and thieves tried to break in. Now he parks here, a bit of a car remand center. We've never had a, a car theft or vandalism at Airpark. Airpark has people on the lot 24-7, only one way in and out, and it's surrounded by surveillance cameras and barbed wire. That's not an easy target. But barbed wire isn't ideal for hotels or shopping centers. And it won't protect all the football fans who flood St. James during games, leaving thieves a lot of options to score. These thieves know that their vehicles sit in these parking lots that are sitting unattended for longer periods. Police have been doing stings in the area and caught a level four car thief this year at one of the hotels. But experts say the best way to protect your car and your belongings is to use common sense. Keep your things out of sight. And if you haven't already, get an immobilizer. Gosha Savitska, CBC News, Winnipeg.